for the non-oil growth rate, the economy expanded by 5.2%. Away from that, President Okufuado has charged the ministries for railway development and finance to fast-track the completion of railways along the eastern and western corridors to aid bauxite mining and accrue more earnings for the country. According to him, the success of bauxite mining in the country depends on a good railway network. The president disclosed this at the signing ceremony of the Project 2 of the Integrated Aluminium Industry Development between the Ghana Integrated Aluminium Development Corporation and the Rockshaw International Limited, a company in the mining value chain. Ghana has substantial deposits of bauxite in regions of Ejuanema, Yinehi, and Kibi, but most of them remain unexploited. However, the country is currently putting measures in place to increase bauxite mining activities. President Ekufuado believes the success will depend on a good railway network, hence charging the ministries for railway development and finance to speed up the completion of railways along the eastern and western corridors. The vision of building an integrated aluminum industry is very important to us all, and particularly dear to me, given the significant transformational impact it will have on the development of our economy and the considerable potential it has for wealth creation. It is at the heart of our industrial transformation agenda. The execution of four projects in Awaso, Inahim, Pasaso, and Chebi will lead to the creation of business ventures that will see us reducing our reliance on the import of aluminum products and enable us to develop employment and high-paying jobs for our people. They will also ensure integration and value addition across the bauxite aluminum value chain. If we are to be successful in this venture, the development of our nation's railway infrastructure will be vital. I've thus directed the ministers for railway development and finance to work together to accelerate the realization of our Western and Eastern Railway Lines railway network. The port infrastructure necessary to efficient operations for exportation of bulk items has to be developed in tandem as we seek to do in the Buankra Inland Port Project. Meanwhile, mining of bauxite in the country will require about $6 billion investments from the private sector. That's according to the chief executive of the Ghana Integrated Aluminium Development Corporation, Michael Ansa. He indicated that though the expected amount is one of the audacious industrial programs, he believes it will be utilized properly to fully achieve the exploitation of bauxite reserves and prioritize value addition for both local and international markets. The projects ensure the full utilization of the bauxite reserves that we have across three key locations in Awaso in the Western North region, in Yunehin and in Pasaso in the Ashanti region, and in Chebi in the Eastern region. These projects uniquely underline our overriding goal of value addition, which is at the core of what GIADEC is all about. The four projects together will require private sector-led investments up to six billion US dollars, making this one of the most ambitious, indeed audacious, industrial development programs since our independence. GIADEC officially launched the Integrated Aluminium Industry Projects yesterday. The projects include expansion of existing mine at Awaso, development of mines at Nehi and Pasaso, and Chebi, as well as the modernization and expansion of the Valco smelter in Tema. Meanwhile, the Deputy Minister for Railways Development, Kukwa Asante Boatin, has charged the newly constituted board of the Ghana Railway Development Authority to remain loyal to the move by the President to revamp the sector. According to him, the sector is witnessing many new projects and will need the support of the board to deliver the needed infrastructure. Kuku Asante Boate made the request after the swearing-in of the 11-member board of the Ghana Railway De Development Authority. All of us working as a team should bring our experiences over the years to bear on our responsibility as the governing board of the authority. 
so that together we shall be able to steer the affairs of the authority. So our key words, or the key words that I want to leave with the board is commitment. And in our work also, we must work diligently. We should be hard working because it's a new process. We're doing a lot of development and we need hard work. And like I said, we have to be loyal to the board, to the, our nation, Ghana, so that at the end of it all, we shall be able to achieve laurels. And of course, the board is chaired by health economist and lecturer at the University of Health and Allied Science, Dr. Martin Amogrim Ayone.